Well, hello and welcome to a new random video. And on this video, guys, we're here to play more Team Fight Addicts. I see that you guys are really enjoying Team Fight Addicts, so here we are. And uh, this time now, as always, got my notes. And we're gonna do the and a karma composition. I like to call it the karma spammer. Oh, I win this. I like to call it the karma spammer. And you guys are gonna see it why. Basically, this composition is gonna be focused as karma on our carry. And she's gonna. You guys are gonna see this composition is, is funny. So for the early game, we're gonna be looking for a Cassiopeia, a Galio, Karma, a Sorak, and a Taric. This we're gonna keep in here. We're not gonna. It's gonna be a spammer Karma, and we are not gonna put mana on Karma. It's just gonna be damage. So for now, let's just wait until I get one of these champions. Looks like I'm doing Demacia, but no, it's, it's not Demacia. As always, guys, don't forget to already leave the like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, it really helps a lot. And okay, we gotta cast your PM. So these guys they go out. So basically what we're gonna be doing is the invokers. We're gonna do all of the invokers, right? Yeah. We're gonna go full on all the invokers. And and except for Cassiopeia. Cassiopeia is just gonna stay on the early game. And that's basically it. Later on we're gonna have six invokers and we're gonna place some a bonus of uh, an Ari and I have no idea what the, the other inv not invoker is. Uh, no no Jesus Okay, I'm gonna go for this. Keep your enemies close. Gonna level up. Let's let's get a Z. I don't know. We get Slayer. Okay, so Cassiope is gonna be our early game carry. Not that she's gonna do the same thing as a Karma, but I don't know. It's gonna help for the early game. Uh, let me get the champions and place them in here. Okay, so, I think it's Soraka. Is it Soraka the other invoker? No, Soraka is an invoker. The sentry is Sham is. Oh, it's Taric. We're gonna have a Taric as our tank. That is the one that is not an invoker. It's because it's gonna give us a Targon. So we're going to have a lot of shieldings and healings. Okay, so we want you. Now we get the Demacian trade. We're not going to keep the Demacian trade. It's just temporary. Uh, let me place this in here. Let me get the Sona in here instead. Zed goes in here. Let's take Jin out. So I get one tier 1 champion, one tier 2 and one tier 3. And I'm gonna have them swapping. That's what the this bonus from Shurima gives. At the start of every round, champions on the right, on the three rightmost benches slots, transform into random champions of the same cost. It's already has a Taric, that's not good. Gonna lose this one, but that's that's no problem. I wanted that Taric. Want nothing from here. I can just pick this both just so I can get them level up. Oh I got never mind, I got a Soraka. 
and Alessandra. So you are coming now because the rock is going in, and you are coming now because Alessandra is going in, and we got four invokers. Okay. So Soraka stays in there. Karma is going to be on the place of Cassiopeia, and then we can, I don't know, change him from to other places or something. Now we're losing quite much. Guess it has to happen. Now the next champions we want is Karma and Tarek. Hopefully they will show up. There's a Karma. With an item that I like. Perfect. Okay, so now we're gonna place a karma in here. Now we're gonna have to level up. I'm gonna keep Cassiopeia just for a moment. And so I'm gonna put her aside. We might actually keep Cassiopeia until we get a rise. Because we're gonna have to keep the six invokers. Oh, there's another. Uh, let me place this in here. Okay, so let's level up. Cassio goes to here, Karma goes in here, and she's gonna have the damage. Okay. Karma for now is not gonna deal much damage because she has just a needlessly large rod, and we still don't have the six invokers, although we already have four, so she's gonna be spamming something. You're gonna see how fast she can attack due to the invokers. Because the invoker trait, every 3 seconds your units gain mana. With 4 invokers, uh, every champion gets 5 mana and additional 15 to the invokers every 3 seconds. That's how Karma can attack so fast. One. Okay. Karma's already being the top damage. We want nothing from here. I'm gonna get a Darius. I want now some champions that cost three of gold to be swapping in here because I want a Taric and I want a Karma to be level three. So we we really want these things. Let's leave it like is. it is now. Probably this Negatron's Cloak is gonna go for Taric, And this Tear of the Goddess is gonna go for Ari, that we're gonna place on the late game. She's gonna also deal AP damage. It's going to help us. This is not the best composition of the current meta. The best composition is definitely Demacia, the composition that I did previously. But it's gonna it's gonna help. Imagine that you you came here, you wanted to do the mass and composition, but people are already doing it, so you can't. Then you will simply try to counter somehow. This is also a composition that is on mad. Okay. Place this in here. Not be undone. So hopefully we get some AP items. Or we might actually need some AP items. Just not much attack speed. Whoa, we got three items out of only one go. Okay. Uh, this can be helpful, but we need a Taric. Okay, so our Lissandra is level 2. Lissandra is level 2, can deal 
some increased damage on her ability. It goes from 160 to 240. That's interesting. We also got some items that we can place on the Taric. We can go for the War Mogs and then for the Gargoyle and Stone Plate. And Taric is gonna get really tanky. We also could do a Redemption. I can try Redemption. Because we're gonna go for the Hillens. I guess I'm gonna go for a Redemption. Okay, yeah, this guy has a Malzahar level 3. I'm not gonna even contest this guy. Getting a champion level 3 early game is just you're gonna you're gonna start winning. But you might actually lose the late game. Okay, an Invoker Emblem and a Soraka, okay. Guess why not? We get a Karma. Oh, and we get a Taric. Now we're gonna level up. And we're gonna put this Taric in here. And I'm gonna go for a Redemption on him. Let's put a Redemption. And I'm gonna just put this. I could do a Sunfire, which is a really good item. But I'm not gonna do it yet. I'm gonna save it for now. Look, I got an Invoker Emblem. But to who am I gonna give this? I might give it to Ari and trade it for the blue buff that I was gonna give her. That's a good thing. If she gets an Invoker Emblem, she becomes an Invoker and she will get increased mana. So this will work as a blue, a blue buff. Okay, so now we got all the champions that cost 3 of gold, now we're looking for Shen, might take some time for Shen to show up, but the moment I get a champion that costs 4 of gold in here I'm gonna trade it for one of these. Let's keep it like it is. Our composition is not the strongest at this moment, but it's not the weakest. We got 5 invokers and 2 targets. I mean, targets give increased healing and shielding, so Sorak is gonna heal, and Galio is gonna heal, Tarik is gonna shield, and we're gonna do a uh, X second blade on Karma, which is gonna give her healings. Uh, then we're also gonna do a uh, Jewel Gauntlet, and it's gonna be our two most important items. There we go. Okay, so we want a BF sword. So I'm gonna go for this Galio because I always get a Galio if I go for it. I got a Galio level 1. And this guy went for my Galio. Never mind. Okay, so now we want this Echo, because at least we can get a Jeweled Gauntlet on Karma's hand. It's not the first item I wanted to give her, but it was the second. Oh, and we got a Galio now, so never mind. Okay, so... Jeweled Gauntlet. And there's a Taric. Oh, and we've got an Azir in here. So this Echo goes away, I'm sorry. Hopefully Azir will trade for a Shen. And late game, when I get a champion that costs 5 gold, I'm gonna also put them in here. In hopes that I get a rise on an Ari. There we go. It's a 
Soraka's doing some good damage. Look at that, so Soraka level 1 with no items and she's dealing damage. Maybe one time we're gonna find a Soraka using carry items. Okay, there's always Sandra. Can always try to go for Alessandra level 3, she deals thick damage. Got Orgot in here, that's not what I want, so let's keep it like it is. We're on third place, so we're good. Let's let's keep waiting because we're trying to go for level 7. We're kinda late on gold. Our gold is going really short. And this guy has a Shan and a Derek, which is not good. And it's level 5. Why does he have so many champions that cost 4 gold? It's really weird. He's going for your rules. Yardles is not a matter, but I guess it can work. We're really late on gold. Let's see if we get some interesting items now. Sarak is gonna die really fast. Oh, she healed herself. <laughs> Okay, we got we got one item that we can use. Soraka. Okay. Now I'm gonna have to upgrade, so we're gonna lose money. Oh my god. Uh, let's place this Lissandra. No, let's place Derek. So we're gonna go for this, and now I'm sure we're gonna give the this items. Oh, there's Alessandra. Let's pick this Darius and put him in here. Okay. So now champions that cost 4 of gold, they will start showing up more. So Shan has to show up for the next few rounds. a Cassiopeia level 3. Why are these people losing so much money to get this early game items? Uh, champions, I mean. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, there's a Karma. We always want to leave one champion that costs 3 of gold in here. What did I sell? I, s I sold something. And I forgot what I did I sell. Okay, it's a a new journey. So now we have even increased mana. Oh my god, I, I wanna see Karma attacking when she has 6 invokers. She is gonna be attacking like a madman. We're against Leonidas. Look at that! Let's get Karma attacking. She's maxing mana really fast. I mean, it's not just Karma attacking, it's the, all the others are also attacking really fast. But we're looking at Karma because Karma is the one with the items. I love Demacia. It's the only I place know. I've been. We're, keep in mind that we are still looking for a Karma level 3. 
Am I not, I'm not first place. Okay. So we're currently the one winning the most. It's not gonna stay like that for too long. Also, I should have more money. I'm getting not much money. Derek is getting encountering us because he has Dragon Claw. Dragon Claw gives a ton of magic resist. That's the biggest counter of this composition. And we're not anymore at first place. Okay, now we want. Hmm, it's a tough one. We can get to be a sword, a attack speed, and an easily large rod. So okay, we're gonna try to go for the easily large rod. People are not in too much interesting on BS swords. That's good, and I still need one. Go out. So X tech and blade on her. Oh, there's a Shen. Uh, I need to sell one of my teammates. Keep them rolling. So now we have a Shen. Shen gives us the six invokers, so let's see. Let's see how this goes. Let's see how fast Karma can attack. Oh, look at that! <laughs> and still we're losing. And she's starting to do some nice damage. Let me see, what are we missing? Now we're gonna be looking for... For Ari and Rise, although they're not gonna show up so easily. I might get lucky, I don't know. Ari's gonna give us the Ionian buff. And Rise is also an invoker, so it's just gonna complement. Let's just wait. Things might start to go bad now. If we don't get the champions we want. Look at Karma. This is doing some interesting damage. But again, we're gonna lose this. I don't know, why are we missing? We gotta check the front line. I guess the front line is not being thick enough. Keep things like this. Yeah, I guess I gotta put Tarek level 2. Hopefully, we get the items we want. I didn't get much items. That's not good. Oh, we got a Scion here. And there's an Ori. Okay. So. Gonna go level late, quick. Cassio, you gotta go away. Rattle, yes. 
go to there, and we gotta level up now. Uh... Oh fuck. Oh my god, I did shit there. This? I meant to place Galio there, not to, to trade with my Galio. Never mind. Whoa, that Rek'Sai killed my Ari really fast. I was not supposed to go full with my Ari, but we still have a frontline. What the hell? But we still win, okay. There's a Kasanti. There's another Auri. Okay. Uh, I meant to do this and. Wait, it can be Lysandra. And let's get a Kasanti in there. Okay. Let's keep it like this. So the, the Invoker Emblem on Auri is gonna allow her to. It's, it's gonna work as a blue buff. It's gonna give her tons of mana. And that's what we want. We want Ari to spam her abilities really fast. And the jeweled thing is gonna make her deal some interesting damage. Look, she's using her abilities really fast. Yeah, but we're still losing this time. We're only missing a rise, but... I'm not sure if that gonna save us the game. We need a Tarik to be level 2. No. Oh, there's a Rise. So, Rise is gonna go in here. Okay, so I'm gonna have to sell something. Oh no. Uh, I'm gonna sell Shen. As I only changes, so I. Because we really need this car to be level 3. And oh my god, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to sell Galio level 2 to get this. Are we gonna win now? I think we're gonna eliminate this guy. Well, if that Shen wants to die... There we go. Oh. Okay, now let's, let's pick the Axiom Mark, if we, we manage to get it. And place it on Ari. It was supposed to go on Karma. But you can go on Ari also. Just because I already have an, an item component in here. Why do I have this? And there we go. So, you guys go in here. I got random two golds in there. This goes on Ari. And now we're gonna roll, try to get Shen to level up. I love Demacia. It's the only place Can start stacking Galios again. Let me sell one of these in place, which I'm gonna cost three of gold there, because I really want Karma to go level three. Ari increases damage quite something. Okay, look at, look at Hari and Lysandra by just being level 3 dealt more damage and karma. What is giving me this gold? Is the rise? I don't know, rise is a champion that I find really weird because I, I don't know how this champion works. So, create a portal to Shrima, summoning a sand tornado that travels across the battlefield dealing 
Magic damage to enemies, hit and knocking them up, stunning them for one second. The tornado has a chance all to unearth burning treasures and gold as it travels, okay. Because Rise always gets different abilities, so it's it's really weird. It can be a really good champion or it can be a really bad one. I don't know if it's the case it's going to be a good one or not. I guess we gotta check the damage. I see the tornado. I think this tornado is not much to deal damage, it's more to apply some CC. And Ari is the one dealing damage. Now Karma also went really up there. Here I come. And there we go, we got Ari level 2. Let me place a Katarina in here, because... Come on, we want two more Karmas. Let's see what we get. Falco's J school way. Ah, uh, this. I'm gonna pick this and I'm gonna place this on Shan. Shan works really good with Thief Gloves. Uh, let's roll. There's a Karma. Okay, one more. Just one more. Oh, it won't rise. One more karma. Ah, oh, why does it have to be so hard? That looks really strong. Look at Harry! Oh my god! Harry dealt so much damage with that shockwave. Or whatever you want to call that. Oh, there's karma. Okay. Oh, never mind. I don't need this anymore. Uh, why are we gonna try to level up now? I don't know, let's place this in here. Let's place one gem that costs two, I don't know. So, because the ones that we're missing are gems that cost two. But there's also Taric. There's Galio. Let's see how this goes, but our composition is done. And we're in first place and we might actually win the game now. I didn't even check the this guy's positioning, but we can afford to lose one. But look at that damage Ari dealt. Yeah, it's done. Look at that, that was beautiful. And Karma was the top damage. And that's it guys, that's the victory. So guys, hope you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you, will, if you haven't yet, and I'll see you next video. Bye.